Here we go. Look how empty this Tim Hortons is, it's crazy. <laughs> Try. Thank you so much for the game tech man. Woo! That took a while. It's pretty cool that they're hooking up the stuff right now as we speak. Now I just got back at the Great Canadian Mayway and just checking these skids. Look at what we have coming up. I've only seen this once ever. It looked really cool in the gameplay. We're actually getting it. Oh my goodness, I definitely gotta try this game. It's gonna be really cool, so. Oh my goodness, super excited. <laughs> All right, anyway, so just hopefully um, seeing them unravel more of the arcade games here at the Great Canadian Midway. I usually don't play the Wheel of Fortune, but I'm gonna do this just for the heck of it. I don't know if that's probably it. Hey, Chris, hi. I walk inside and they have these new games coming up. That's really awesome. Very nice. Such a nice day outside. Now that the trees had leaves on them, like early spring, it'd be amazing. Look at that. This is why I love doing walks here in Clifton Hill. All the girls are briefly just doing their own thing. Kind of want to show a little bit of the redemption that they have right now. And I told Felicia, I was like, <laughs> Must have drained quite a bit of your uh, stock here um, during the family day long weekend, right? I also want to give a shout out to Rebecca as well. And I do come here and swing by once in a while. Don't, I don't swing as often as I would like, though, because they don't really have anything that's really special for me. But uh, at the other, on the other hand, I'm like, mm. the game out themselves. It's really cool actually. Oh, so it picks up in speed. Oh, see? Okay, okay, I see. So it picks up in speed. How many How many tries you got? So it's worth some talk to walk. And you don't do too good in the beginning, you get a reset. Oh, okay, I see. That, that's nice then. I was gonna say. I think it's my favorite game. So each time just gets faster as you keep progressing. Oh my goodness. Uh, anyway, sorry about that, Dave. Thank you so much for uh... <laughs> letting me check this out. Is it like super sensitive when you're turning the uh, dial? Oh, it's, it's good. It's good? It's actually pretty good, yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Oh, shoot. Nice. That's not easy. Oh. Oh, I saw that happening. Good job, bro. And we try again. Oh, and then you can continue where you left off. So if he if he pretty much goes on from there, he can get 200 tickets, but he got to beat it. So if you try again, you actually for 15 more rings, you get 200 tickets. So you be it's like Pokemon. Finish it. Got it. Except you can keep going if you want to. So it goes slow at first, and then it gets faster. This game's kind of interesting, honestly. They're testing the game, but still, it's brand new today. The Great Canadian Midway. So freaking mint. It gets faster and faster. Those individual ones are, oh, nice is uh, the one that uh, makes it a little tricky, that, yep. What? It's very hard. It's really good though. though it's really it's decent actually.
bad. It's so good. That's what I thought. I'm gonna say, have you ever seen a ball that got stuck in the middle like this? And you're like, um, yeah. I think it's hilarious. What? I was able to finally get the jackpot over here by clearing all the rings. I'm super happy about that. I'm just gonna wait for my jackpot. I believe I got 500 tickets off the Carnival Cup. Did my first try. That's hilarious. Although I have to admit the last round is not easy. There we go. All right, hi everybody. Two things about this arcade that is probably going to be happening uh, when it comes to changes in the near future. Basically, so if you have a whole bunch of tokens and you're pretty much saving it from the Great Canadian Midway and let's just say you're coming here several years from now, they're trying to make the whole token ticket thing obsolete. Now they'll still honor uh, you for, you know, let's just say you have like hundreds of dollars worth of tokens. I'm pretty sure they're leading enough that they might give you some kind of credits um, just in case. Just because some people, they have a whole bunch of tokens and they want to, you know, keep the customer happy. So even though people have to be kind of aware that they're like, oh, I have all these tokens from the Great Canadian Midway, you come here five years from now, it might not be the same. So I'm just um, letting people know here, especially though I kind of wish Hoko kind of um, told more than just the locals is if you have the tokens, just to use it before, you know, the next year shows up before they convert everything here down the Great Canadian Mayway to the credit card system. So if you have your tokens, just um, pretty much use it up if you can. Um, the second one is basically claiming prizes. Those two redemptions are totally separate from each other. So if you're playing downstairs and you want the prizes downstairs, I would recommend doing that unless you check the prizes upstairs because once you go upstairs and play some games, you really can't get the, the same prizes down here because they won't accept the card. If you're down here at the Great Canadian Midway, you can get both the prizes from here if you want to, or you can use those tickets that you saved up and go upstairs instead and put it inside the ticket here and um, pretty much download that into your card. So in other words, if you want to get the best prize selection, I recommend coming down here at the Great Canadian Midway for that one. It just doesn't work the other way around when you're going up there. Once the tickets are in your card, that's basically it. You can't come down here to get the prizes. So anyways, I just wanted to just say hi. Thank you everybody for just the usual. New games are coming up. I saw the Angry Birds coin crash thing. I, I, if it is what I think it is, super excited. Nerf Arcade, bring it on, loving it. Thanks everybody. Pikachu, what am I gonna do without you? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha